The Vault Indy is a speakeasy in the Bates Hendricks neighborhood known for their bourbons, their local food pairings, and the location is also where some of the Midwest's most notorious bank robbers would hide out. But in order to get in, you have to know the code for the vault door. Luckily, we know a few people who can help you find it. Please welcome Gabby Sherfick, the owner of Vault Indy, and Devin, a cocktail extraordinaire behind the bar there. Guys, welcome to the show. Oh, thank, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. you. Entertaining you guys when you came out. Man, it was so, so much fun. Yeah. It was a blast. blast. Yeah, if you guys missed it, we did a speakeasy bar crawl. This was one of the stops. We had a blast. Yeah. We enjoyed your entire crew. You guys are all wonderful. <laughs> it was our first stop, and you set the bar high. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. Love that. Yeah. I love that. We were definitely showing out for you. Well, so thank you. I love that you met that. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the vault. I know so many people have been asking us about you. So, um, the bank door, it kind of just goes with our theme of featuring some of Indy's great bank robbers that we're all familiar with. Um, to get in, you do have to know where to find that hint, which go to our social media, okay. talk to your friends, um, word of mouth, and Social media is really the only place you can find it. Um, we're also known for, we have some great bartenders. Um, I would say that they're leaders in their fields. They come up with some crazy cocktails, which Devin's <laughs> gonna be talking about a couple of them today. I oh, love, I would I love to wait. see what you're making up here because I see a treasure chest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. What's going on? So this is actually a reclaimed uh, humidor from the 1930s that we have repurposed into host being able to smoke cocktails in. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. Um, what are you making for us? Uh, so I've got two different cocktails for you today. Um, they're both kind of a little off the wall. One is a riff on a very classic cocktail. The other one is going to be something that is uh, very different from most things you'll see. Okay. Um, so I guess we can just get right into Let's it. Do if it. Let's check do it. Let's do it. Out. Yeah, so yeah. All right. Now, as you're mixing this up, I'm bringing this mic over here. We yes. had a little technical yeah. issue. Give us a little bit more about why you wanted to start this. Um, so, fun fact, my great grandfather was actually a bootlegger in Mississippi. No wow, way. Um, cool. So he was uh, one of the OGs yeah. that yeah, yeah. really kind of rebelled against prohibition uh -huh. during that time frame. Uh, my grandma will tell me stories about how he would have some of the leaders in the bourbon industry, um, the creators of Four Roses and people like that come to his home wow. to get him to literally sling their bourbons and whiskeys across state lines. That's amazing. That is incredible. Um, and it just happened yeah. that we we found this beautiful building, and not so beautiful at the time, but yeah. and we found that that the history was there yeah. for local gangsters for this area. We kind of comboed that together and created the speakeasy. It is so awesome. Oh I mean, goodness. literally when you walk in, you feel like you're walking back in time. You really do. But it's cozy. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's a vibe. It's certainly a little noisy, but it oh, is so yeah. cozy with the couches and the lamps and everything. It's beautiful. And we, we kind of went with that whole you know, your grandfather's lounge yeah. slash yeah. the secret office that you're never allowed in. He has right. the best bourbons in there. <laughs> um, and it's super cozy and comfortable. We want you to get comfortable in our space and we definitely want you to hang out, yeah. stick it out for a little bit, try some different things and make it home. But Gabby, we're seeing some video from when we went there. The food oh, that you brought yeah. out was so good. so good. You're known for pairing your food too Thank with those you. local bourbons and cocktails. Yeah, we keep it local um, as much as possible and regional, especially with our spirits. Um, and with our food pairings, I brought in our charcuterie plate, nice. which has charcuterie. A goat cheese and local honey, mm. nice. French brie, fig jam. It's got Goose the Market meats in the center. Oh, love that. Uh, we, we love keeping it as local as possible. And then mm. a couple of the cheeses, one's a nightshade, okay. and then the other one's a Gouda cheddar blend, Ooh. and they're also regional. Nice. This cheese is amazing. Oh, it's my favorite. All right, well, I know you've been hard at work over no, there. Yeah, for sure. Give us a quick recap of what you just did. Um, so to start off, we're going to do an ube infused mezcal. Um, so ube is a purple sweet potato basically, adds mm. a beautiful color to it. Um, we're going to finish it off with a little bit of fresh lime juice, uh, cream of coconut, a green chili liqueur, and some locally made uh, chili lime bitters. Wow, this well. sounds amazing. So we'll get right. started on this one oh here. Oh my goodness, okay. The shake, it's the all shake. about the Great shake. Technique. The technique. I cannot wait to see this because when I was there, I saw you guys making a few of these. We got about 30 seconds in show. Oh, see, he's good under pressure. I love it. Yeah, he really it. Oh my gosh, look oh, at the color look on that. Oh, look at that. 
And again, give them a follow on social media yeah. to find out the passcode that you need to get in. Mm. Devin, that looks amazing. Thank Gabby, you thank much. you so much for being here. Absolutely. Guys, we want to say thank you to today's sponsored guests for the show, Jack's Donuts and Sundown Gardens for the Indy Now Backyard. That's right. And just another thank you to everybody who is on the show today. We're going to try this in the break, yeah. and we'll show you this on social media so that you can see it. We did run out of time, but thank you guys so much. Have a great day, guys. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much.